Let's Brian. get over to our man, Mr. Tim Wood, as we do every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, you can reach Tim every trading day at Ord, O-R-D hyphen Oracle, O-R-C-L-E dot com. That's Ord hyphen Oracle dot com. Tim Ord, what's going on, brother? All right. Uh, <laughs> well, let's start looking at the bigger picture. Okay. Let's and we'll kind of go backwards here, but okay. uh, the first uh, chart, number one, we went over this, I think, last Thursday, but yeah. just kind of a repeat, so we'll go quick. But anyhow, this is chart goes back to 2006, and it shows the times when the uh, RSI, just the RSI 14 period, reached 80. <laughs> Every time it's done that, usually you get a uh, trending market, uh, trending market, can last months, and in most cases, you know, mark the halfway point of the move up. But the blue uh, circled areas on the daily SPY chart, which yes. is the middle chart there, okay. you can see a lot of times it comes in the halfway point. And we had that 80 reach, I think some, I think it was January 18th, I have to go back and look, but not too long ago. Uh, so we may be halfway done for this move uh, on a bigger uh, – so not every day or even every week is going to be an up week, but it does suggest that if you do have pullbacks, they're usually going to be minor pullbacks. This is you're not probably going to have a ten percent pullback uh, when this this time happens. Okay. So let's flip. To, uh, so flip to chart two. Yeah, we have it. Third window up. I think we went over the last Thursday too, and the uh, third window up is the six three day uh, of the trend. And every time it gets above 1.1 on a 63-day period, so that's basically three months of trend readings. Yes, uh, average comes out 1.1 or higher. And when you got that, a lot of times you get a trending market, which is all the blue areas in the chart. And this chart goes back. Uh, can't see here. It looks like about 2017 or something. But every time it's got above. Uh, 1.1. Uh, you can have pullbacks again, but a lot of times it comes in trending markets. And uh, so you know, we're we're like 1.12 right now. So that kind of reinforces the idea from the previous chart when the 14-day uh, trend or a 14-day RSI got above 80. So yeah. there's quite a bit of evidence that we probably got a trending market here. And we'll, well, so, we've been in a trending market for four months, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 we're basically in a trending market. So we we may trend, you know, maybe all the way into August. You know, right. See, we're at the what a ride point. that would be, not huh? Sure. <laughs> yeah, not, yeah, that, 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 hey. yeah, I think this year is going to be pretty good. Just to uh, stay right there for a second, Tim. We get a quick break. This is Tim Moy, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling a problem with us out here, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now. Oh, that just took a dump. It's down 116. S&Ps are off uh, 39. The Nasdaq's uh, down 190. Stay right there. Tim and I are going to be coming right back, folks. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's off 109. Nasdaq's on 188. S&Ps are off 38. Uh, you're talking about a little volatility, folks, right before we take, Tim and I took that break. You had the uh, S&Ps go down 18 points in literally a uh, heartbeat. <laughs> uh, yeah. not, not like volatility, Tim. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So um, we can go chart two a little quick again. Okay. The uh, only thing I, I want to point out that uh, the 60 day trend when it gets down around one or lower a lot of times you get uh you can can get big corrections i want to point that out last year we had a pullback from uh, i think it was august to october approximately that time frame we pulled back 10 percent if you look what the 63 day trend was it was right around that one area i see so yeah, so we don't have that now. We're up, you know, 1.12, so... Yeah, and today, not... you know, right now, today, folks, we're running 1.40. So, <laughs> it's going to get interesting. Of, of, of the trend? The trend's 1.41 right now. Yeah, live. Yeah, you need it that way. That's, that's a good sign. Yeah. So, um, chart number three. Okay. Um, all right, this this is uh, on the volume chart. I got two uh, two areas uh, circled there, and those are selling climaxes. When volume jumps approximately 100% compared to the previous days, a lot of times that exhaustion move to the downside, so it's a big jump in volume. If you see minor moves up in volume, that's usually not a big deal. But when everybody gets 
tries to get to the exit door at the same time. Normally, that kind of halts the market if it's going down or going up. And a lot of times, they, the way out, they call them selling climaxes because both volumes there are circled in blue. Yes. Uh, volume jumped about 100%. So they mark bottoms, market rallies up. But a lot of times, you come back and test those selling climaxes. So we have, we have one last Tuesday, and we got one on January 31st. You know, the January 31st, uh, the next trading day almost did touch that low. I'm not sure that low is going to be tested, but if you look at last Tuesday's low, there was nothing around it. It, it gapped down and turned around and gapped back up. So at minimum, I would expect last Tuesday's low, which is around 490 on the SBYs, to be touched. And what I like to see, there's actually quite a few different things I like to see. I like to see the trend going up. Which it is right now. Yes, and I like to see that the two-day trend uh, reach uh, right around one point five. Okay, and the five-day trend reach around one point four. When I made this chart, actually the the five-day trend is the second window up from the bottom, and the two-day trend is the third window up from the bottom. So anyway, I like to see quite a bit of panic on the test of that last Tuesday's low. Yes. So the the five-day and ten or the five-day and two-day trend get to those red lines and you get a 10% lighter volume, you're probably going to have a low. Okay. So that's what I'm kind of looking for. I don't know if that's going to set up that way or not, but you know, you know, it's interesting, you know, Tim, is that too, but. It, what's interesting out here today is that Microsoft, who's been one of the leaders, okay, in a monster way, I mean, Microsoft's gone from, like, say, what, $300 to, you know, $400 in six, 420 in six months. Now, Microsoft is testing the high volume low that we're talking about the first one on the S&P today so that's kind of interesting Do you know what I mean you got a leader it's, it's down off the ties off, off 420 it's trading at 401 it hit 398 today so that's always intriguing to me you know when you get the leader it's like okay is you know are we going to march down sure. to that level so pretty cool right I know I, I was looking at the QQQ. The QQQ is weaker than the SPY. Yes. So yeah, I know we're, we're testing last Tuesdays. I don't have the chart up right in front of me, but I know yeah. uh, the QQQ is back to Tuesday's low already. Yes. So, um, you know, it be interesting to see what happens here, but um, we'll have to wait and see, you know, the, the market can push down. Right. There's another thing I'll, I'm kind of incorporating here, too. Okay. Is a lot of times, go to, go to chart four. Yes. Uh, you know, the, the last high was, uh, there was a big divergence. You know, the top window is the VIX. Yeah. Next window down is the SPY VIX. And if you notice last, uh, today's Tuesday, be Friday, last Thursday, we tested uh, the previous highs we had the week before. And it, was, it actually closed at a higher high than the previous highs of, of that week before. And if you notice, the VIX made a much higher uh, low, or the SPX, you know, yes. there's a big divergence the ratio, in, in yes. the SPX VIX ratio. Right. And so I'm th thinking, if we go down to last Tuesday's low, will the VIX make a lower high? Okay. So, so the reason why, there's less, there's less panic on the second low, and that'd be a bullish divergence. If there's more panic on the second low, in other words, VIX makes a higher high. Yeah. We'll just say we'll talk about the VIX. Don't want to confuse too much. But that makes a higher high. That would open the door that we actually go lower down to the January 31st high, which is at four. Okay. You know, four eighty. Yes. Four eighty two. So I'm seeing because I'm pretty sure we'll at least test last Tuesday's uh, low, and if the VIX makes a higher low or a higher high, rather then that would open the door that we may go back down to another, you know, Nice. Points no, I get it. I get it. Cool, so, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't know. There's a lot of variables going on here. And, there, no, there is. Me, hey, hey, listen, uh, there is. But you're walking us right through them, and we appreciate it, man. Yeah. It, to me, I, I like to see panic, especially when I get, you yep. know, emails in the mail. Because <laughs> people are really good picking out bottoms, especially when they're panicking. If they got enough. Uh, nerve to, to eat or enough uh, fear to e e or email me. Right. That's usually a real good flag for me to say, yeah, we're awful close to some sort of a low, if not a minor low, a major low. Oh, yeah. And so, there's, there's, um, there's no doubt. I don't know doubt. if that'll happen this time around. This is, uh, to me, 
what we're screwing around with here right now is kind of a minor low. I mean, the worst case scenario, in my view, is 480, which is, you know, decent, but it's not like 380. No, that's, <laughs> no, hey, listen, man, percent. that's nothing for the kind of uh, numbers that we've put up. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. So, but anyhow, that's that's my assessment of what's going to go on here. Uh, but anyhow, last two things, you know, 480 or 490 is a target, and possibly 480, which one uh, may come yeah. in, I don't know. Uh, but, you know, the market's down today. Volume, just eyeballing it, it's probably going to be higher than last Friday or uh, the previous uh, to, to be uh, today's Tuesday, Friday, be last uh, Wednesday because we're testing last Wednesday's low right now. Right. And, and that was 986. We'll probably go down yeah. to the next lower low, which would be next two or last Tuesday. And so we'll see how that, you know, the last Tuesday's volume was pretty big. So I'm thinking... That, that, my opinion that we may hold, you know, it depends what happens tomorrow, I guess. Yes. So, and we get lots but, of numbers coming out tomorrow. I mean, there's a couple of these big tech stocks that have been on the run, including Nvidia. <laughs> Nvidia is going to charge that market up. They come out with numbers after the close tomorrow, and you talk about high volatility in Nvidia today. <laughs> it has it all. It has a high out here of uh, seven nineteen, the low of six seventy seven. You're dealing with. 693 so there's no doubt yeah. we, we got some action here be what those numbers are yeah yeah no there's no doubt well listen man it's always a pleasure uh you have a great one safe one we look forward to speaking to you on thursday tim all right talk to you then thank you right. stay right there folks come right back we have the dow down 100 nasdaq off 169 s p's off 35 we'll come right back folks mm -hmm.